All right, guys, so we're live on YouTube right now. Check out the stream right here. You can see it. Everything looks great. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing Melon, a web-based live streaming studio. If you're interested in Melon or want to find out more information, the link will be in my video description below. We're on their website right now where you can head to from that link below to get the most accurate and up-to-date information. First, let's go ahead, let's go over the features. So we can see right here, we can live stream in seconds. We can go live in as little as five clicks. We can multi-stream to different platforms at the same time, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, LinkedIn, custom RTMP as well, fast and cloud-based. We can broadcast our own way in 1080p, which is great, full HD. We can engage with our audience and guests in real time. So we have one chat to view all of our different chats from our live streaming platforms. And then we also have a private chat for our guests. We can share our screen, we can schedule our stream, and we can record the stream. We also have the ability to upload our recorded videos and stream them as well. Now let's go ahead, let's look at pricing. So you can see right here under the pricing tab, we have two different options. We have your basic and pro plan. If we go to the annual slider, we can actually save $30 on the pro plan. Here's our features of the basic plan though, $0 a month right here. You can see some streaming limits up to four hours for the basic plan, one guest, limited brand customization and a branded watermark. But if you pay annually at $12.50 a month for the pro plan, you get unlimited streaming, up to six guests, unlimited brand customization, no watermark, full 1080p HD, VIP support, stream recording, custom RTMP, multi-streaming, disconnect protection, and we can upload media files up to 150 megabytes for their limit. Check that out though. Again, two options. So again, annual, you're gonna be $12.50 a month. If you wanna just do monthly, it's gonna be $15 a month right now, down from originally $25. Now let's go ahead, let's talk about their referral program. So you can refer your friends in three easy steps. Go ahead, generate your referral link by following these steps, then share it on social media or with them via email, or you can copy the link. Then track, and then you can see what you earn. So on sign up, the referrer gets two days of pro and the user gets seven days of pro. On first stream, the referrer gets five more days of pro. And on a pro upgrade, the referrer gets 30 more days of pro. Those are their customer support information email right here too, if you ever have any questions about anything Melon related. Now let's go ahead guys, let's open up the dashboard and see all the features firsthand. All right, so here we go. I signed into Melon. This is the screen you're gonna be at. This is everything. This is your live studio. This is where you're to control everything. It's your command center. And it's very simple and straightforward. The interface is fantastic. It's very minimalistic. You can see right here, my secondary webcam. Hey, 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 hey. You can see that live footage right now. And this is a preview of what we are going to be streaming. So first, let's go ahead. Let's just dive right into everything that we're seeing. So you can see on the left-hand side, we have all of our different sources right here where we can invite our guests and we can generate links right here to invite them. Very simple. Email or Facebook Messenger right from within the Melon app, you can do that. So keep that in mind, guys. Super simple and straightforward. They do not need to have a Melon account to stream with you as your guest. Then we have our suggested views and things down here at the bottom, and that will change depending on our participants and how many people are involved. Then you can see in the right-hand corner, we can select this to review our referral options, support, report a bug, our settings, or to log out. Then it's very simple, guys, at the bottom, like I've been saying, super clean, easy to navigate. We have the rest of our options. So we have our mute. So you can see we can choose our audio right here if we wanted. And then you can see you can monitor it in real time. We can choose our output as well, too. We can choose to have echo cancellation on if we want, and then you can read more about it. Feel free to pause your screen if you're interested. Then we have stereo audio, same thing. You can read more about it. If you have any questions, feel free to pause your screen. And then last but not least, we have auto adjust mic volume too, which is really nice. Again, you can read more about it right here. Feel free to pause your screen. Then we have our video options. So you can see currently we have multiple sources we could select. And then the resolution up to 1080p 30 frames. Then we have our screen share guys. So we could choose to share a screen right now. Here we go, let's bring that one in. So it's loading and then we can choose to show it on the stream and there we go. Now you can see that, pretty cool. And then again, we can change some of the views if we wanted. Those are two options right there. Let's see if we click any of these other ones. 
We don't have those options. They're grayed out for now. But yeah, you can see we can drag and switch them too if we wanted. And then we can really quickly hide from the stream again. And then we're just back to me. Or we could do it vice versa. And then we can select this icon too to spotlight it. So that's pretty cool. And then let's show this guy on stream too. And there's the spotlight. So again, just super quickly, if you want to jump to that without making, you know, anything hidden, you can do that right there. All right, next up, you can see our chat. So if we had a live stream right now, here would be the chat from all of our different feeds. And then here's our private chat too, if we had guests. So only our guests can see that's fantastic, an excellent feature to have. You definitely want to have a feature like that if you have a lot of guests or plan on having guests for maybe your podcast stream, live stream, that sort of thing. Then we have our edit screen, guys, so you can see the different settings we can tweak. So first you can see our name, our quality, if we want to record. And again, you can find out more about all these things right here too with the question mark icons. We can choose to have the names on or off, audio status. You can see TTS on guest join right here. So that's pretty cool. Love that option. Then we have our speaker indicator as well. So a nice visual indicator. Then we can turn logos on or off. Ticker on or off, can change our backgrounds too. So check that out. Pretty cool options right there. You can find what you're looking for. Again, you can upload your own background. Really fun. Look at all the options. And here's video. So we actually have video options too. So we have a nice countdown going right here. Let's click another one. And there we go. That's sweet. We can upload our own video as well. So very simple and straightforward. Pretty cool, right? Not too shabby. All right, looks like we have to wait for the video. No video. All right, there we go. Now we're back, but that's cool. Nice option again. So you can upload your own video. You can upload your own background if you want. Very, very simple. Then we have our next option right here. It's our schedule. And now we can add a schedule if we wanted to schedule a broadcast right here. We can choose our different options for streaming with our accounts, set the date and share a link. And it's that simple. So now really quickly, guys, let's dive into some more of the settings within Melon so we can look at how we actually set up and link our channels. So head back up to the top right hand corner, select the icon, choose settings. Now you can see we have our platforms tab right here. You can view all the supported platforms at the time of this video. YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch, Periscope, custom RTMPs down at the bottom. So for LinkedIn, for example, just select link account. Now enter your LinkedIn information and you're all set and ready to go. Same for the other platforms. And then for custom RTMP, select link account, enter the name you want. In my case, I would name it Amazon Live because I stream on Amazon Live all the time. Be sure to give me a follow on there, please and thank you. Enter your RTMP URL and your stream key and it's successfully set up. Now let's look at the broadcast tab. Here's the broadcast tab where you can view your past broadcasts. Then we have profiler right here. So if we need to profile something like our camera, let's quickly run that. And you can see we'll get some technical information and a readout for our devices. There you go. You can see that right there. We have a couple more options to audio, data channel, and server. Then we have our billing information. We have our referral section right here too. So you can see you can track all your referrals right here. Very simple and straightforward to send invites, copy the link or share on social media. Then last but not least, you have your account information, your contact information and your support help section right there. Now let's go ahead and let's fire up a test stream and try it out. So back at this dashboard now, we're ready to go live. Just select the big green go live button, choose the platforms you want the stream to. In this case, let's do a YouTube private stream. Let's select that. We could link Facebook, LinkedIn and all the other options we looked at earlier. Then let's select next. Let's title the stream, Digital David and Melon. We could add a description. Let's just do Melon test stream. And now let's select go live. There we go, it's gonna load. So here we go, we're going live in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right guys, so we're live on YouTube right now. Check out the stream right here, you can see it. Everything looks great. Currently it is a private stream, so I'm the only one watching it. But this is the quality you can see right here. 
Again, that'll vary depending on the settings that you have. We do have this set to 1080p, which is the max quality at 30 frames per second that we can get right now. Be sure to make sure that your webcam or the camera that you're using is also at the correct resolution that you want for your stream quality. But take a look at that right there. I'll wave to the camera too so you can see how long it takes in regards to the sync and the slight delay. But about what you would expect with a cloud-based, web-based streaming studio for live programming. So check that out. Now for fun, let me go ahead, let me tweak some of the settings right here. Like let's show our other screen so you can see that now on the stream. Then we can look at some of the other settings we can bring up. So let's tweak the logo. So we just turn the logo on and off. Same with the banner, live with Melon right there. Then we have our ticker, we can turn that off, back on. Again, we can change the background if we wanted. So you can see that right there. We can do all that right now. Then here's the video stuff. So we could do a video if we wanted again. Here, let's play a video. There we go. Pretty cool. Let's bring that back. What else do we want to do on here? Let's leave the banner back up. Let's swap the scenes again. So there we go, different options. And then we can bring in the other one and swap those two so you can see that for the stream. So again, if we had multiple guests, multiple sources right here, we could swap those out however we see fit. Let's go to, let's see, what else can we do with the suggested? Well, there's the two for the two sources right there. We can just swap those back and forth live and again, change the backgrounds. So we can do a lot right here from the studio. Again, drag and drop, very simple, clean interface for your live stream. Get up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. And again, make sure you have your camera resolution set properly and also the stream settings under that general tab if you wanna turn on the full HD quality, the 1080p full HD resolution, just make sure to toggle that button on. So when you're done and you're ready to end your stream, just go back to the Melon app and select end stream. Then you have two options, just in case you accidentally hit it and you don't mean to. In this case, let's select end stream. There we go, guys. It's ending our broadcast right there. Then we have two options to choose for our experience. And then we can give them some feedback if we want. And there we go. It's that simple, guys, to stream with Melon. Just for fun, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you invite a guest. So let's paste that URL right here to our stream for our guests. Let's go to it. And there we go. You can see now we can add our guest name microphone, our audio and input sources, resolution for your guests. So up to 720p, echo cancellation, stereo audio, adjust mic volume. So they have a couple different options. They have a preview for the camera too. Let's go ahead, let's choose a different one. Let's see which one we can use. Let's do that camera. Let's select it. And now we have just joined the stream and you can see we're not part of the broadcast yet, but the host can see you and can add you to the broadcast at any time. This is what a guest will see. A couple different options they have. They can mute, stop the video if they want, share a screen, pretty cool. Also, here's the chat as well. So they can see the private chat and the stream chat right from within the broadcast and they can leave the broadcast too. So very easy for your guests to set up. And again, they do not need a Melon account to do this, which is fantastic. They don't have to sign up for anything for that matter. So now let's go back into the stream and let's add our guest. So I'm back in the live studio right here and you can see David's guest shows up now as one of the sources we can show on our stream. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. And there we go, guys. We have the source at the bottom, very easy. So we can view our guest right here, very nice. And you can see we can quickly hide them again if we want. Also, we have a couple quick buttons and actions down here that are important. We can disable the video, but leave them on the stream. Same with the audio as well too. We can quickly mute them if we wanted. So that's really nice. We have a couple more options. We can kick if we wanted, if we wanted to remove them, they're misbehaving, or we can give them full screen access to all with the click of a mouse. Turn that spotlight on if you want. Very nice. And again, don't forget, we can kind of drag and drop and rotate everything however we want with whatever layout we desire, depending on how many guests or screens we're sharing, that sort of thing with our stream. So very simple and straightforward, guys to invite your guests to Melon and to stream with them on Melon. 
So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after going live with Melon. First, I gotta say it's a very simple and clean web-based live streaming studio that's very easy to use and navigate, and that goes a long way. It's gonna be very easy for anybody if you're just getting started or you stream for a long time to be able to use their web interface. So with that being said, it's great that we can broadcast very easily our stream to multiple channels and sources at the same time. And also it's great that we can welcome in guests to be on our stream if we wanna have multiple friends, talent, that sort of thing. We can bring all those personalities right in very easily, manage them with a click of a mouse, guys. Super simple and straightforward. And that is very important that that's easy to do when you're live, right? You wanna have good programming. You wanna be able to have a professional look and feel to your stream. You can definitely accomplish that with Melon. Now, with that being said, here's some things I wanna see improved in the future. One is I want more technical controls. I wanna be able to adjust the bit rate. I want to be able to add more than one RTMP source. I also expect and want some alert integration in the future. So Logitech owns Streamlabs and owns Melon. So will there be a Melon Streamlabs integration so we can actually bring in our alerts right from within here? I sure hope so in the future. That would be a fantastic add and value add to set Melon apart from other competitors on the market today. Also, I want to point out, I'm a pretty big Amazon live streamer. I love streaming on Amazon Live. And right now, since I can't adjust the bit rate, I can't actually use Melon to stream on Amazon Live. So I hope in the future there is that option. Now, you might be saying, well, hey, David, you can just turn off 1080p and stream in 720p. Well, unfortunately, Amazon's pretty picky in their bit rate. So even at 720p, the bit rate is still too high, at least for what Melon's broadcasting to their servers that Amazon says, uh-uh, not right now, not today. So maybe in the future, Amazon will change that. Also, I think in the future, Melon might be able to give us that adjustment option, or maybe they will add Amazon Live as another channel, like you can do LinkedIn, YouTube, or Twitch. And then maybe from there, they have the custom backend settings to make it easy for us, the end user as well, so we don't have to change the bitrate, and they just do it for us. So I'm expecting some big things ahead for Melon with their ownership, right? So we've got Logitech, and we got Streamlabs and we got Melon. I'm expecting some big things ahead from those companies together as they continue to be a leader in the live streaming space. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.